So let's give one of the Vim Golf challenges a try in the uh, Vim Speak stuff that I've been playing around with. So VimGolf.com is pretty cool. has these problems to try to do in the least number of keystrokes in Vim. And so this is a problem of uh, take this XML file and convert it to this JSON format. So I have it loaded up in Vim here. And uh, I'm going to try to do this with just my voice. Start of document. Delete line. Repeat. Now I think I'll go and make a macro for dealing with the individual tags to convert them to properties, and then we'll go back and do the book stuff. Down. Record macro T. Recording T. Start of line. Change surrounding angle brackets to quotes. Find quote. After. Insert mode. Colon. Escape. Normal mode. Right. Surround till left angle bracket with quotes. Wow, isn't surround vim awesome? Find left angle bracket. Change end of line. Insert mode. Comma. Escape. Normal mode. Down line. Stop recording. Stopped. Okay, so now we have our macro. I'm going to go ahead and undo what we've got and just we'll use that though. Up. Undo line. Let's give it a test though. Play macro T. Undo. That works pretty well. Start of document. Um, let's see how to deal with this. I'm going to convert the attribute to a property and then get rid of the book, make it just a... Say again. Okay. Record macro B. Recording B. Find I. Delete till right angle bracket. Put. Change surrounding tag to curly brace. After. Insert mode. Space. Escape. Normal mode. Right. Right. Surround word with quotes. Find equals. Replace colon. After line. Insert mode. Comma. Escape. Normal mode. Down. Down. Now we get to use our macro. Play macro T. Play again. Play again. Play again. But oops, the price is not supposed to have quotes on it. Up. Find dot. Delete surrounding quotes. Down. Play again. Uh, here I don't want to play again because it's the thing is wrapping. So let's make it not wrap first. Select around tag block. Visual mode. Join. Escape. Normal mode. Play again. And then now the the last property is not supposed to have a comma, but there are supposed to be commas between the records. So up. End of line. Erase. Down, put, down, stop recording. Stopped. Now if we're lucky we have this amazing recording that will, uh, um, <laughs> actually I'm going to add to it. it. This will apply all of those changes to the next block. Let's give it a try though. Play macro B. Voila. Play macro B. 9 play macro B. There we go, the whole document's done. Delete line. Start of document. So now technically it is all valid JSON now, but uh, let's clean it up a little bit on top of this. Um, maybe we'll make a new macro B. Record macro B. 
Recording B. Unindent matching. Down. Visual block. Visual mode. Five down. Insert. Insert mode. Space. Space. Escape. Normal mode. That looks nicer. A line on colon. And so you can see it's using the tabular plugin, just tab slash colon, to do that. It's a pretty cool feature. Up, matching, down. Stop recording. Stopped. Play macro B. There we go. Nine play macro B. Oh, sorry. Uh, 17 line. Nine play macro B. Play macro B. Right. Replace right square bracket. Left. Uh, visual block. Visual mode. Start of document. Insert. Insert mode. Space. Escape. Normal mode. Replace left square bracket. And now we're done. That's pretty cool.